Welcome to Sports Beat KC, the Kansas City Stars daily sports podcast. It is Monday, March 15th, and I'm Blair Kirkhoff. The speculation is over. The bracket is out. Let the NCAA tournament and March Madness begin. Kansas is a number three seed in the West region and will play its opener on Saturday against the number 14 seed, Eastern Washington. The Eagles are champions of the Big Sky Conference. The programs have only met once in history, Kansas winning in 2007. This is the Jayhawks' 31st straight NCAA tournament appearance, the longest in college basketball. It's also the 20th straight year KU has been a top four seed. That is a remarkable statistic. There are uncertainties surrounding the Jayhawks. Kansas didn't get to finish the Big 12 tournament because a player tested positive for COVID-19. Also, two players, David McCormick and Tristan Anaruna, were in the COVID-19 protocol before the Big 12 tournament. Bill Self said he hoped to have those players back in time for the opener. It helps that Kansas is playing on Saturday and not on Friday when the first round games begin. Today we're going to hear from Self. He met with reporters after the selection show to discuss the Jayhawks roster situation, the bracket, and the team's progress. So let's get going with Bill Self. Hey coach, how are you guys COVID-wise and uh, how is the team doing in regards to COVID-19 and all the you know cases and tests and whatnot? Well, we think we're <clears throat> You know, in this, you know, knock on wood, in as good a shape as we can be in. You know, we've had, we obviously had a situation uh, uh, the day following uh, our Oklahoma game. So I guess that was Friday morning. And, uh, but everybody else is, has, uh, has tested negative daily and sometimes more than once a day. So we're going to Indy uh, tomorrow with a healthy group. It's just a smaller group. You know, we're, we're, we're minus minus three bodies right now. Do you expect to have like, you know, Dave and Tristan back starting on, you know, for the first game on Saturday or? Yeah. Yeah. We expect to, unless something happens, but, but uh, <clears throat> the one thing I've found out through this probably uh, as much as anybody, you know, expect the unexpected, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see. I'm, I'm not privy to comment on specifics, but I, I stick to what I've said all along that, that, uh, we anticipate those guys joining us this week. Hey, coach, you had the 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 ups and downs in January, February, and March. Won eight or nine. Do you like the do you like the draw you got? And just any thoughts on the West region? Well, I think that you know, uh, since that's the draw we got, I might as well be comfortable with it and and like it. And and uh, I certainly don't dislike it. Uh, I don't know enough about. Eastern Washington yet, but I know we're already on that right now. And, and I, I, I'm actually glad that we have a extra day, not only for them, but for, you know, all our bodies to get back and, and be together and practice together, at least uh, closer to game time. So uh, I thought, I thought that, I thought that the draw we got was, was fair. Every draw is going to be hard. If you look at three seeds in the other brackets, they're hard. Uh, uh, so, you know, the the one thing that jumps out at our bracket, <clears throat> that would be the hardest thing. And I think there's 15 other teams that could attest to this is that Gonzaga is in our bracket. So I don't think anybody's going to pick Gonzaga not to be a, a final four team uh, or, or very few will, will uh, uh, would pick that if they do. So, you know, they, you know, to get to a final four, you, you're going to have to eventually somebody uh, go go probably through, you know, one of the better teams our sport has seen in the in recent memory. So that's hard. But but without that, you know, Eastern Washington or Drake or Wichita State or USC, those those are all hard games, especially for us since we're a little light handed right now. And 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 uh, those are all hard. And and certainly, you know, Iowa uh, and Oregon being on the other side in that in, uh, potentially in that two seven game. I mean, that those, those are all hard. So uh, I think it's fair, but I don't think it's easy by any stretch. Hey, being selected is obviously no surprise for you guys. You kind of know every year you're in, but w- what was the emotion like this year to, to seeing it and especially coming off not having the thing last year? Uh, I actually probably am as about excited as I've been on a Sunday of the selection show. Uh, I really thought we'd be a three seed. The only way we weren't going to be a three seed if somehow 
COVID factored into it. Uh, you know, our analytics positively said that we would be a, a three seed. And the thing that I, I, I mean, if you just look at that, that means you're one of the 12 best teams in the country by the committee's estimation, which is nice, nice. And there's no question about that. Uh, uh, but to think that where we were six weeks ago, thinking, uh, you know, we just hope we get in, you know, to go from that to to being a, a, a three seed, I think is, you know, it's a pretty strong statement with how much our team got better and how much the players improved over the course of the the last half of the season or the last third of the season. So I'm excited about that. I, I'm, I'm not excited about any of the draws that we would have, but I would say that regardless of who we drew. Uh, uh, but but uh, this was probably a, a, a little bit more exciting for me uh, this year because, you know, in, in the past years, we, you know, we've had teams – be four seeds and this team isn't a four seed. And we talked about this team laboring more than any team that we've had here in recent memory and stuff. And, and, uh, and to see them in a season that we've had, you know, uh, with, with uh, so many distractions and everything, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm really proud of them. I, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Now the seed doesn't guarantee any advancement. It's about matchups now and all those things. But uh, I don't think that this team could have put itself in a better position at all, if you go back and to uh, the end of January and say, "Hey, what's the best case scenario for this group?" Without knowing who your matchups would be, I think our guys achieved that. Did Did you sense the same from your players, or as far as just that that statement you talked about from from how much they improved? I mean, did, did they show any emotions of feeling that same way that you did? I think I think uh, uh, I don't know that they showed uh, as much motion. The ones that would show the most emotion would be Mitch and. And uh, and uh, Marcus uh, and maybe Ochai, but the other ones wouldn't have shown much. Or they they never experienced this much. I mean, that's uh, uh, and, and so I I, I don't I, I I think that I think that they were proud of themselves. To be honest, I think they feel good about themselves, but but not good in a way that we've accomplished anything. Just good in a way. Well, so far so good. We put ourselves in a decent position. Now we have to take advantage of that of this opportunity. Hey, Coach, Coach what are following the, uh, up encore? on the feeling you were saying from a month ago, falling out of the rankings and now being named the number three seed, what have you seen from this year specifically with the team, with roles of leadership that have made this journey possible? Well, I mean, the, the journey's just getting started, I hope. But uh, uh, I think that we have gotten tougher. I think our leadership has been better. I think we've become more coachable. And I'm not saying from a defiant standpoint, just from a buying in standpoint, this is what wins for us. Uh, I think that uh, our defense has certainly gotten a lot better. And and the thing about it is that we've run better offense. We've done a lot of things and, and we're on probably about a roughest stretch as we've had all year long shooting the ball and we're still playing better. So, you know, I got to believe start shots will start falling at the most opportune times. And, and uh, so I, you know, I, 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 I've seen a lot of things that, that would, that would uh, uh, equate to uh, improvement. Uh, uh, and I, th- I think the care level is extremely high too, which also gives you a chance because when we were down and out, uh, I don't think too many people were really believing in us. And I think we went through a period of time we didn't believe in each other or believe in ourselves. So uh, really proud how they, they've, they've been able to flip that switch. Coach, what are the challenges you're facing, the team's facing, entering the NCAA tournament, having played only twice in March? Yeah, you know, that's uh, – there's a lot of teams that only played twice in March. Uh, uh, you know, it, you can look at it that way or you can look at it that well, we've only played twice in March, but we won both games. There's there's not too many te- – there's not too many teams – there's no teams in America that are going in with a – a two game winning streak in March, unless they won their tournament. So, uh, you know, we have some momentum in that regard. Uh, uh, we would like to play, we would have liked to play, you know, at least one more game in Kansas city and, and hopefully two, but we didn't get that opportunity, but we're practicing every day. I, I think that, I think that we'll be sharp uh, uh, by the time Saturday gets here. Hey, Bill, have you heard anything about uh, kind of the restrictions with this bubble thing and, in how it's going to work and how it's maybe different from a, a normal tournament kind of run and situation. Uh, yeah, I actually have Kevin. Uh, they, they've given us some things. It's, it's going to be much tighter uh, 
there's not going to be much leeway. There's not going to be a, a tell us what you want uh, uh, type situation. It's going to be we're told what we want, uh, which is also good. Uh, uh, we're not going to, you know, the higher seated teams don't pick the times they want to practice. I mean, it's going to be, a, you know, a very uh, strict and regimented schedule. So uh, I don't know enough about it to uh, about how different it'll be, but, you know, we'll get there and we got to test as soon as we get there. And then we got to wait 12 hours and, and have it be the next day before you test again, before you can even leave your room to leave your room to go do whatever you're going to do. So it, it's, it's definitely going to be different. It'll, 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 it'll be a tight ship. Yeah. You were saying uh, you guys are hunting in apples tomorrow. Is that correct? Uh, yes. That's what we have been told that we do not know the time uh, uh, or anything like that yet, Gus. Uh, but we've been told to, we'll be pulling out of here tomorrow. If we, if we pull out of here tomorrow, anytime in the afternoon, uh, we'll practice in the morning. If we pull out of here in the morning, we'll be off tomorrow because you can't do anything once you get to Indy that day. So uh, uh, we'll just have to wait and see. The, the, only, the only thing that will basically uh, be a difference in our day is whether or not we can practice or not, based on what I've been told so far. Hey, it's Blair. We have a special subscription offer for Sportsbeat KC listeners, unlimited digital access to the Kansas City Star's award-winning sports coverage. Sign up now for one year of Sports Pass for access to all the sports news, features, and columns presented on the KansasCity.com site, and it's only $30. That's a 40% savings off our regular rate. Your subscription will automatically renew after the initial term at $50 unless you tell us to cancel. Your subscription helps support the sports coverage of KansasCity.com and the Kansas City Star, and that support has never been more important please visit KansasCity.com slash SportsBeatKC offer to get this special offer. And as always, thanks for listening. Bill, have you done the math on when the two guys can join you and when the one, the third guy can join you? Yeah. Yeah. Well, obviously the, 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 the most recent positive test, I mean, anybody can do the math. So, so uh, we think that, uh, that won't be until we complete uh, the first two games if we're fortunate enough to advance. And so, uh, uh, other ones we 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 hope to uh, we hope to get you know get there uh, this next week as long as you know nothing negative happens in the in the meantime. So uh, uh, we're not going to count our our chickens before they hatch, so to speak. Uh, but there's a there's a you know it's just a it's just a, a, a daily deal that you get nervous every time you test, and we'll just have to wait and see how the tests go. Got time for a couple more. Bill, do you have any plan in place for how you will bring those guys along when they are able to come back, or is you kind of have to play by ear as well? Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know who asked that question, but, but uh, that's a good one. I, I, I don't have a – I mean, I've never gone through this. I don't have a plan in place. I – I think a lot of it will depend on how they feel. A lot will depend on what our medical staff says that they can possibly do. Uh, uh, I know there's there's some people that have gone through this and 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 if they've really labored with it uh, for a period of time. You know, especially those that have had symptoms or severe symptoms. And there's some that that have gone through this that that basically didn't have severe symptoms that that actually come back at a and 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 be closer to full strength than what you probably anticipate. So. It, it, it's a it's a crapshoot. I do not know, and and it's just an unknown right now. Hey, with, with the three guys out, have you thought about how you're going to handle the rotation? I mean, will will other guys that maybe don't play as much have to have to step up a little? Oh, there's no question. Uh, uh, you know, I haven't given Tyon Grant Foster many opportunities to play, but as long as uh, uh, we all stay healthy from this point forward, he's going to get every opportunity to be an impact player for us in this tournament. Do you, do you feel how, how do you feel about your tournament experience when, when you look at a guy like Ochai? He's a veteran on your team, but he's only played two tournament games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're not we're 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 not an experienced tournament team by any yeah. stretch. Uh, uh, you know, David's the same way. Even when David's back, you know, he played in two games. Uh, uh, you got a situation with Marcus, who is by far the most experienced we've had, and and uh, you know, he was on a team that went to the Final Four. But, you know, so he's played in six games, but there's not a lot of term experience out there. And, and uh, 
but you can probably say that about most of the teams in America right now. Since you didn't play last year, you know, uh, uh, you know, look at Texas, one of the most experienced teams in the country. How much tournament experience they had, and, and you look at, you know, Oki State, who's really young. Uh, how much tournament experience they've had. Uh, uh, so, so when, when you when you eliminate a year from uh, uh, from the resume, and kids are only in their in their second or third year in college, you know that 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 definitely cuts the experiences, you know, in many cases in half. And so, uh, uh, it, we we won't we won't be an experienced team, but I'm not sure there will be a ton of experienced teams if you're refer, referring to strictly NCAA tournament type experiences. Hey, coach, could you talk about the importance of guard play in the tournament? And do you have a guy that you want taking that final buzzer beating shot? Uh, well, you know, the, hopefully you're one of your better shooters or your, 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 your best competitor or, or uh, a guy that you just have supreme confidence in. You know, we've had some guys that were really good in late game situations, whether it be Mario or Sharon or Devonte or, or Frank or whoever it is. Uh, uh, this year's team, we haven't really developed a guy like that, but, but based on Ochai's aggressiveness and, and how he's shooting the ball right now and, and uh, you know, Marcus, uh, uh, regardless of what anybody says, the ball will be in his hands, you know, in a late game situation. And he, he'll be, he's got to become a little bit more aggressive, trying to look to score and, and those sorts of things. So I think we have confidence in different guys shooting the ball uh, uh, for that shot. But, uh, you know, <clears throat> I just actually hope we're in that position multiple times in this tournament. Uh, that means we're probably advancing, and that means that, you know, we're playing – pretty well if games are coming down to the final possession, but, but uh, uh, it's still by committee more this year than it has been with most teams. All right. Thank you, coach. We got, we got time for more Chris, okay. if we want to. Anybody else have anything? Yeah, actually wanted to ask just general uh, on the big 12, I'm sure it's just about everyone else is seated. What, what do you think of the way the conference kind of graded out by the committee? Uh, well, I think the conference graded out high, you know, there's obviously, the conference is very well respected to have, you know, four teams on the three three line or better. You know, three were on the three line, and 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 of course Baylor. Uh, I think those were all deserved. Uh, I got to be real candid with you. I was, I was surprised Oklahoma State wasn't on a three line. Uh, I was a little surprised that Texas wasn't on a two line, and then I was a little surprised that Oklahoma was on the eight line. Uh, I thought they could be a little bit better than that, or not better, but higher than that. Uh, but <clears throat> I think that every league in the country, you could probably go across, and the Big Ten can say, "Well, I thought this. I thought this for the, that league." Or ACC will say, "Well, I thought for sure Louisville was getting in." I mean, everybody's got something that they could say didn't go as exactly as they had hoped. But for our league to be represented by seven out of ten, and and uh, and all of them to be seated basically as high as they have, I think is a, is a true testimony to how good our league is. And I think the big, I think the committee respected that, but just because you respect it as a group, that doesn't mean sometimes that there's individual cases within a group that could be uh, uh, thought to be saying, you know, I could have, we could have been this or we could have been that, but uh, once you've been in the tournament as much as we have, and as much as I have, you realize that once you're in the tournament, it's not about where you're seated. It's about the matchups, and that's what's most important. Hey, you mentioned, Marcus, uh, being on that Final Four team. I, I wonder, do you, when you get there with the team, do you take any time to tell those young guys on that roster, hey, soak this up, you're going to want to chase this feeling the rest of your career, or do you just let them experience that, and, and maybe that's just natural? Uh, when we get to where? When we get the to Final Four, the sorry. The Final well, Four. Well, yeah, God dang, we got to win – Four games, Matt. Four. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm not talking about this year. I'm saying when Marcus was there as a freshman. Did, we, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah. we tell him to soak it up, enjoy every moment. But the thing about it is, and, and enjoying every moment should not take away from uh, uh, the fact that the memories that you have now are going to pale in comparison to the memories you could potentially have. So it's one of those things: soak it up and enjoy it. But hey, we got we we got we got real work to do now. So. Uh, yeah, I, I thought you were. I thought you no. wanted me to have a crystal ball talking about this team. But <laughs> no, you I can hope, if I hope, you want. <laughs> yeah, I, I would love. To ha I'd love if if I had one and that was the case. But uh, but no, I, I think you want all the players to when you're going through a any type of good run, you want them to be able to 
actually enjoy the experience rather than looking back and say, you know, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't take advantage of that. You want, sure. you, you want it to be a situation where you, 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 you create memories, but you're also doing it and having the most fun you've ever had in your life. Coach, as we know, millions of people make brackets. Most of them will be making them tonight or tomorrow. As a coach of a three seed team, do you make a bracket in your spare time? No, I used to do that. Uh, I haven't made a bracket in probably 15 years. So, uh, no, I, I will not do that. I, 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 and, and to be honest with you, I could care less about the bracket. Brackets. I care about one bracket. And to be honest, I care about, uh, you know, Eastern Washington, Drake, Wichita State, and USC. That's all I'm going to think about. You know, it's it, 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 the, the, the NCAA tournament is a series of two-game tournaments. you got to go into a weekend and win a two-game tournament, and that's, all, that's, that's the only bracket I'm thinking about. <laughs> Hey, Bill, this is Jerry Tipton in Lexington. Uh, I don't know if you're aware or if it matters, but uh, Kansas has the second most all-time victories. Kentucky has the most. They have five more than Kansas. How important is that, not for this team necessarily, but just for the pride of the program and so on, to have the most? Uh, well, I will tell you this. I think Kentucky has rightfully – so we use that as a, as a recruiting tool for decades. We're the winningest program in the history of college basketball. And rightfully so, we've said we're the second winningest program in the history of college basketball. Uh, I don't know that either one of those statements actually gets you a player in today's time, but I do think it adds uh, 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 interest and it certainly adds pride with your, with your loyal fan bases and your alums. And so, uh, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're in a situation where, you know, obviously I, I, I am aware that we've narrowed the gap, uh, but I am, I don't know that exactly that it was five or six or whatever it was, but, and, and yeah, I'm not sure which one it is. Is it five or six, Jerry? I believe it's five. So, so that means in order for us to pass it, we win a national championship. And if we were able to do that, then I would tell everybody in the world that this was uh, the, the, uh, what was going on. But, but, the, but the reality of it is, is that that's something that I, I really don't think something that happened in the 1930s uh, 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 really translates to how successful a program is now. But I do wish that we had that feather in our cap. And I know that Kentucky's been very proud that they've had that feather in their cap for a long time. So it'd be nice to catch them. It would be, but... Uh, a lot of work left to do before that can happen. That'll do it for today. Thanks to our Sportsbeat KC production staff of Derek Donovan, Beth Welsh, Monty Davis, Jeff Rosen, Chris Fickett, and Savannah Smith. Links to stories about KU's participation in the NCAA tournament can be found in the show notes and on KansasCity.com. Also on KansasCity.com, I broke down the four regions, picked a winner, and a most valuable player for each region. So go to KansasCity.com and check that out. Hey, we have another deal for you. For a limited time, you can subscribe to Sports Pass. That's the Stars Sports section online for 99 cents a month. That's right, 99 pennies a month. After three months, it auto renews at $5.99 a month unless you cancel. You get all the stuff that appears in the Stars print edition plus much, much more. What a time to subscribe. The Royals are at spring training. Did you see what Bobby Witt has been doing down in Surprise lately? March Madness is here, and it is never not chief season with free agency heating up. So how do you get it? You go to KansasCity.com slash SportsPass2020. That's KansasCity.com slash SportsPass2020. Do you want more than just sports coverage? Check out the entire Kansas City Star product. Sports news features, commentary, and analysis, the whole thing. You get all the stories written by my talented colleagues, plus additional national news, sports, and business coverage with the E-Edition. The details for all of these deals can be found at account.kansascity.com slash subscribe. And if you're having trouble hunting down any of these offers, send me an email, bkirkoff at kcstar.com, and I will get you to the right place. So, Whether it's the Sports Pass or the full subscription, you're getting and supporting the best sports and news coverage in Kansas City and helping us produce programs like Sports BKC. 
Thanks for listening, and we'll be back on Tuesday. I think we're going to talk Missouri basketball with another episode. Thank you. Thank you.